Oh, we love this moment, the U.S. Air Force graduation. Memorable in so many ways, proud moment for families, but one of just two big moments in the past two weeks for Maddie Marsh, who is joining us now. Less than a week before this, before graduation, she won the title of Miss Colorado, and you're joining us now. <laughs> Welcome. First of all, this is a first, because I know one of your predecessors, predecessors was the first active duty, mm -hmm. but you're the first officer to yes. serve as Miss Colorado. Yes. I can't even believe those two things go together. Yeah, I think, you know, it was really interesting getting into pageantry because I started at the Air Force Academy. And so I got to have these communities that seemed very different. But at the core of each of them, I think that they get along really well. So I'm very excited to show, you know, the military, what it looks like to be a pageant girl. And then the rest of the U.S., what it looks like to be in the military and, you know, be multifaceted. So I'm really excited. I know you've been flying since what, you 16? 15. 15, mm -hmm. you started flying, so that was part of the dream to go to the Air Force. Yes. And then, but you were a physics major? Yes, I was. I studied, I studied physics with a, a focus in astrophysics for four years, so I got to intern with NASA, study gamma ray bursts, and then now I'm switching uh, gears a little bit to more cancer-based research. And that leads me perfectly to the next <laughs> thing, because um, you lost your mom. Mm -hmm. And she died of pancreatic cancer? Yes. And you're really involved in the foundation, right, in her memory, and you yes. hope to do something with this degree to uh -huh. make a difference. Yeah, so I've been studying with Harvard Medical School this entire past semester on how we use artificial intelligence to detect cancer. And so now when I go to Harvard in the fall, I'll be continuing that research with them and then trying to make you know the policy side so it can actually be implemented for families across the US because we saw firsthand that pancreatic cancer is a death sentence, and I don't want anyone to go through what we went through, so it's extremely important to me that I get the degree, that I try to lead from the front with people who have you know, experienced similar losses. So I'm very excited to hit the ground running when I get out there. Okay, so you have to explain this to me. <laughs> you go to the Air Force Academy, now you're going to grad school, Harvard grad school, uh -huh. you run this foundation, and you want to be Miss Colorado. Why, why so many things? <laughs> I feel like I just can't sit still and I want to do things that make me feel really fulfilled because I saw from my mom, you know, she died at the age of 41 and she had her life cut extremely short and she was someone that wanted to live, you know, to the fullest extent every single day. And I realized, you know, I'm very fortunate to get to be alive, to get to be sitting here, to be wearing the sash and I better make the most of every day. I better be filling my schedule, meeting as many people as I can, making the most difference on others. And so it fills up my cup to be go, go, go all the time, even though it's really tiring. I will admit that, but you know, even more exciting, which is why I do it. Maddie, congratulations. Thank we you. will be following you, Miss America's in January, but thank you for just making a difference in the world. Thank you so much for having me.